Have you had enough of London fog? New York snow and California smog? Would you say a river dares you to roam in June? And come with me and let's go swinging on the moon. Let's have a honeymoon on the moon. Honey, far from We are recreating Mel Torme's Swinging on the Moon. When I was 22, I discovered this album through a really good friend of mine, Michael Lichtenauer. And he said, you have to come over and we're listening to this whole album start to finish. And we're not talking until we get to the end. We wanted to create something that would um, highlight Matt's talent and uh, become a project that could be an ongoing fundraiser for the El Sistema Aeolian program. When Clark and Brian asked me, they, what would you like to do? Um, for a program at the Owen Hall, I just kind of on a lark said, well, wouldn't it be great to do a big band album? And I said, we actually have a great big band here, and why don't we do it at the Hall? I'm George Laidlaw, and I lead the Primetime Big Band, and I've helped to coordinate the music and uh, organize uh, the players and the scheduling and of the recording and rehearsal. That's been my job with the help of Ron Gilbert. Many years ago, I, I got to actually perform with Mel Torme which is one of the great memories of my musical experience. And when I found out that they were gonna try and re re recreate this um, amazing album, uh, Swinging on the Moon, I uh, just jumped at the opportunity. My name is Bruce Hoadley, and my role in this production is to play bass trombone in the primetime big band, and of course the special feature items from the album, uh, Swinging on the Moon, that often feature just the trombone section. I think the Aeolian Hall is one of the greatest treasures of this city. I'm always surprised when people don't know about it. I love the space, it sounds wonderful. I've been to so many excellent shows here and played in so many excellent shows here. I think it is a wonderful place in uh, our city. Well, the Aeolian, uh, as a location for this project, has a very unique set of acoustic properties. So. Um, there's been a number of albums cut in here uh, and people love the ambient sound. So uh, we're actually called legendary for that uh, particular property that we have here. I knew once I stepped in here that the, the hall itself would give me what I needed to really bring these songs all the way uh, to life. It's a little gem and it's London's little gem. From Torme, and don't let that moon get away. Don't you dare let that moon get away. Baby, don't let that moon get away. So you can see that our stage is set for a big celebration. And that's the part we're gonna stay focused on through this project, is to celebrating music, community, uh, the kids, and uh, you know, the, the idea that uh, we can bring music to so many children that would not normally get that opportunity is just, um, I think it's a great thing and uh, really worth a big party. I think the fact that Matt is going to this trouble to make this a fundraiser for El Sistema is a great selfless gift. Uh, the production is excellent and certainly can go far, but the fact that money is going to go into an education program for young musicians is a wonderful gift that he's making to music not only here but wherever it goes from this place. My hope is that this is the beginning of this program. Um, there's murmurs of us taking it on the road, perhaps to Toronto. I hope it goes far and wide. We're singing and swimming.